Hello everybody and welcome to today's video from Nick Turner Plumbing Limited. Um, today we're going to show you how and why we balance a central heating system in your home. Okay, so just to familiarise yourself with this, this drawing here, um, the way this is set up won't generally be the same in every household. There'll be radiators teed off here, there and everywhere, but it, it doesn't matter. In principle, you have your flow and your return pipe work, a two pipe system. Which is, which is in essence is this, simpli just simplifying it. And what, what that is, so you've got your boiler up here, so the one pipe is called the flow and the other one is called the return pipe work, which is normally about 22 mil size pipe. So that comes off the boiler and then it goes to each radiator, as you can see, goes around each radiator. So it gets to the last radiator on the circuit. And when it comes back to the boiler, it's then classed as the return pipe work so that then goes back and each radiator goes into this return pipe work all the way until you go back to your boiler when it returns you lose you you're, you're losing your heat because the radiator is obviously giving off heat to heat the house so when it returns back to the boiler the boiler's job is to then heat that water back up puts it back into the flow pipe work and then into the flow and again it goes into each radiator heating the house nicely so the first question is why why do we do this I and mean, what, what's the whole point of it so the answer to that is we want to get each of these radiators around your house the same temperature and the most efficient so we don't want this radiator here um, you know being 60 degrees and this one over here being 10 degrees and this one here being 30 degrees um, it's a very inefficient way of heating your home and it's, we want to minimise the, the costs of, of the boiler use. So that is why we balance your system. So now we're down to how you balance your system. So again, to keep things simple, this is just, you know, you've got your flow and your return loops. Now, on each radiator, you've got two valves. You've got your thermostatic radiator valve and you've also got your lock shield valve. Now, the point of this is this one here is for us the plumbers that is for us to work with and not the homeowner not the customer this one is for the customer to work with individually so let's start with this one this one is designed for the customer you've got your they're all slightly different but you've got your temperature settings on here and how hot you want the room, room to get when you do a new install when you install a new central heating system or even if it's just one radiator you want to have this set to three so halfway in between so when you balance the system the customer has the option of ebbing it up slightly or reducing the heat if they want to for that individual radiator so then we come on to the lock shield now this is for us plumbers and this is what we use to control the whole system so we we put this on one side of the radiator it does it can be left it can be the right hand side generally try and match up um, if you're putting one radiator or a couple of radiators into an existing property just look that you'll, you'll notice the the lock shields will always be on the left hand side say sometimes they're on the right but just match it up to, to whichever side so it all looks balanced in, in the house um, so the idea of this is think of it like a, a, a tap so uh, in there there's um, it's basically like a, a piston as it were a spindle which goes up and down and we can to, to reduce the amount of water hot water which comes in and out and we control that by screwing this down or up now if we were to have one say this radiator was fully open and then all these were slightly turned down this radiator would be the hottest in the house be roasting um, whereas all the others well, it's only letting a trickle of water through. So referring back to this as being a tap, if you open your kitchen tap full, you're going to get loads of water out, which is what's going to be happening to this radiator. But if the, for the rest, if you only open it just slightly, you're going to get a trickle coming out. So that's the best way to explain that. Um, so what you're going to do, uh, you split your house up. So you've got your upstairs radiators and your downstairs radiators. So again, you've got the first floor and ground floor. Um, now, Heat rises, so obviously the boiler is heating the water, which is sending that heat technically up. However, the water is, uh, you know, its gravity pulls that down. 
So in actual fact, the heat the heat goes down rather than, than up. So what, what, what we've got to do, the downstairs radiators, we actually turn these um, down so that we've only got a trickle of water coming through, as it were, downstairs, and the upstairs we open up more. So um, generally, with the best practice to start with, if you're having a problem with a radiator or a new installation, do all the downstairs radiators, open it, so completely close it, and then open it one whole turn. So when you get your spanner on it, so you've got half a turn, and then obviously turn it again another half. And what that will do, it will let a trickle of water through as it were. Then we go upstairs, and then the upstairs radiators, we open this one and a half times. So in essence, the downstairs, it, we're allowing less water, whereas upstairs, we're pushing that water up. So the whole idea is the heat it is uh, obviously in the water, which is being naturally, the gravity is pulling that downstairs. But by turning these down less than upstairs, we're actually making uh, the water uh, finding it, the water's going to find it more difficult to go downstairs. So we're pushing it upstairs, which is exactly what we want to do. That is generally the, the basic starting point. So just to recap on that, downstairs, open this one turn. Upstairs, open it one and a half turns. And you'll find that that 90% of the time solves all the issues there. So that, in a nutshell, is generally how we balance the radiator system and why we balance the radiator system. So, you know, just to be as a, make things as efficient as possible and to circulate the heat around your home and heat your house evenly and adequately. If you do have any problems, you're finding one radiator isn't getting as hot as you'd like, you need to just tweak the system slightly. So. Uh, what I've given you is, is uh, the general rule, the general guide to work towards, but sometimes you've got to just tweak it slightly. If you've got a third floor, again, you then, you know, you, you maybe reduce downstairs, you open these, say, three quarters of a turn, half a turn, three quarters of a turn. Upstairs, you then open that to one and a quarter turn. And then the third, the, you know, the top floor, open that to, you know, one and a half turns, maybe even two but it, it takes time. So patience is a virtue of this. Obviously, um, you, you want to get your central heating system hot, so you turn it all on. If you're having an issue with it, get it on. Find out which radiator or which radiator, radiators are causing the issue, and just be patient with it. Tweak it slightly. It can take, you know, it can take all day to get it absolutely perfect. Um, so that's uh, so you, yeah, just, just be a bit patient with it. So um, that is how and why we balance the central heating system. So I uh, hope you found this video helpful um, and stay tuned for loads more helpful videos uh, and advice. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.